Oh my god. We're back again, guys. <laughs> <laughs> what? What the fuck was that? <laughs> I'm bringing the energy. Uh-huh. <laughs> so, <laughs> episode 48. Roll that intro. back we're back ladies and gentlemen today we bring to you another pleasant uh, surprise of loners this is a pleasant surprise yeah they had no idea unless you already did what you should and you have your notifications you're subscribed you like you follow you comment and you're also subscribed to our vlog channel that i'll link below yes everything he said copy and paste that's right um but yeah thank you so for joining us and let us know how the weather is where us. you guys are from the weather over here it's pretty nice nice day in in la it's beautiful out <coughs> um but yeah we did a hike the other day you, we'll have a on our vlog channel Horrible. um it, it was nice no, we just we haven't gone in a long time it to, was on not a hike nice at all. <laughs> it was very <laughs> underwhelming and it was not the, I hate to say like the vibe, but like the vibe was not good. It was just so, it felt. Yeah. All I have to say, if, the, if that was my first hike ever, I would never go on a hike again. <laughs> but, um. It wasn't good. Yeah. The, we'll, we'll, we'll go on, we got to hit and some other And I appreciate ones hiking, nice. so. Me too. Anyway, um, what's our video for today? But yeah, babe? so today. We're going to do a video called Five Things in Germany That Confuse Americans. We're, uh, we're going out to you, Hermans, over there. So By Connor Sullivan. Yeah, I'll, I'll link the original in the description. But yeah, anything else? Nope. All right, let's begin. Let's see if these are confusing. Air conditioning. Air conditioning. You're not going to find it. Germany has these things called autobots. No speed limits. But when you get near a city, it's all right, guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Connor Sullivan and Sal Messina. We are Americans living in Germany, and we have five things. This is American Holy guys for shit. you, though. This is like the m- majority of American they guys. They took their Adderall today. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. No, you're probably not wrong. But yeah, probably this is mainly how American guys act a lot. It's not, though. It's uh, what you see in movies, and I feel like... That we feel like we okay, have to listen, act that way because I'm, of it? I'm from Los Angeles, and I know everyone has a stigma of, like, LA is so fake. Everyone out there is so fake. But, I mean, but a it's lot like, of people are. There's people fake everywhere. Everywhere. No, they tend to, I think... Yes. They tend to BS. float towards New York in here. Okay, but they're not They're not the people who are from here. Not yeah, like I know. That. You can tell. The people who are from here actually are way more authentic. So I think people assume that if you're from L.A. and you go somewhere else, they're like, oh, I know about you. But it's like, no, you know about the people who gravitate here trying to like be an actor or something or yeah. be an opportunity. Mainly be an actor. Yeah. Um, but anyway, I feel like movies and certain people <laughs> that act like frat boys. Like over yes, the top. I do yeah. feel like sometimes people assume everyone in America is like that when I promise you they are not. But there are a lot of annoying fucking people here, I will say. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Going back to the video. That's no go. offense to you, sir, and your friend. <laughs> that you need to know yes. before visiting this country because they could save your life. Make sure to watch to the end because the very last one, you're going to die if you don't do this. Literally, you could die if you don't know these. Seriously, the traffic laws. Don't tell them that yet. Just beep that out. <laughs> yes. We didn't know these before we came here and we learned the hard way. Yes. Hopefully you learned something. If you want to follow us on Instagram, we'll be traveling the world. Hopefully you like the video. Mm. Back to the video. Five things you need to know before you visit Germany. Number one, and I learned this the hard way when I got here last year. Sunday. Grocery stores are closed. You cannot buy food. It slows. This is crazy because in America, Target, Trader Joe's, Ralph's, Kroger, wherever you live, it's always open. If I'm hungry like at midnight, I can always find something to eat. If I'm hungry on Sunday, I can always get some burgers or something like that. But here, you go there, you cannot buy food. You have to go on Saturday. Yes. You have to. Is that a religious thing? Because I know some I don't areas, think it's a religious thing. I know like Utah, you can't buy like alcohol on Sunday. That's because of the Mormons. Yeah, religious. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm <laughs> that saying. Oh, so, baby, I want to watch if you, any of you guys know if you guys are if Mormons exist outside of the USA. I'm sure they do. But um, there's a Mormon documentary I want to watch. 
What's it called? I don't know, but it's just a documentary about, okay. about how like they're re- they think that like something about like aliens and I don't know what. I went to it's a Mormon like- church one time because <laughs> my sister's best friend for like a day was Mormon and she invited us. It was an experience. I want to know more about that later. All but right. Anyway. But um, all right. No offense to this guy, Silas. Did you, you have too much energy, so much bro? Energy. Chill out. I'm gonna, it's just like too much. But yeah, I, let us know why. You know what? To each their own. I, it's not our place to say it's too much. It's just too much for us. Yeah, there you go. That's what I meant <laughs> to say. But um, if you're from Germany, let us know why your stores are closed on Sunday. Because yeah, this, all the stores here are packed on Sunday because everyone's off yeah people go to church or temple like they do their thing in the morning and then they go out to eat they go out they're shopping their errands <clears> for the week i would say saturday and Sun- but especially sunday are probably the yeah. busiest days for yeah you know. go on saturday and here's the interesting yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna need to go on saturdays and there's also gonna be a ton of people in line <laughs> on saturdays especially at right right when the store's yes. closing it's just packed Yes. So go early on Saturday also, or even Friday if you're smart enough. Also on holidays, everything is closed. Yes. And it's hilarious because the day before a holiday in Germany, you go into the store and it is like the apocalypse is coming. Pretty much. Germans just in a line fighting over the last water bottle. And you have to be careful of this. If you have a Sunday and then a holiday on Monday, it's closed two days in a row and you are you not die. eating <laughs> unless you go to the gas days. station yeah. and buy like those little beefy hot dogs. Yeah. Beef. Number two though. Blitzer. I'm not even kidding, dude. This peed me out. Yeah, this made me very upset because in America, you're speeding, whatever, you can kind of do it because you can see cops and only cops can pull you over and give you a speeding ticket. All right, so we break the law a little bit. I do it definitely on the freeway. There's no cops, I'm going over the speed limit. But in Germany and greater Europe area, Italy is the same, France is the same. If you are going over the speed limit, they have these little boxes like that, that sit on the side of the road, and if you're going five to 10 miles per hour over, you don't really know. If you're going five, all right, let me explain it first. If you're going five to 10 miles per hour over the speed limit, these things will flash you, get your license plate, even if you rented the car, send it back to the rental car company, and they'll give you a ticket three months later, and obviously the price goes up the longer you wait. I've spent like 800 euros on speeding tickets. Mm -hmm. Dumb. This is what happens, you're on the freeway, you're like, oh, there's no cops, I'm good. Hey, do, not, do not let a bullet. Well, I don't I'm actually know. shocked this isn't a thing here, and I have thought about this before. They, I'm always like, I'm surprised they don't have the way they give red light tickets. Yeah, I was going to say red light tickets. I'm surprised they don't have that for speeding. Like, you really would think they would. And as someone who drives the speed limit. You're fucking liar. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I honestly don't even think I would care. Yeah. I'd be like, good, you deserve it. No, I'm kidding. But like, 10 miles over the speed limit, I feel like is fine like if you're on the highway oh not on the street but like on the highway i think that that's more than normal but i think if you're going like 90 you deserve a fucking ticket yeah i this just reminded me i What'd forgot to do? pay that ticket oh <laughs> okay i gotta go check that out after Wait, this your video parking ticket or your, yeah or the your parking ticket. ticket the parking ticket you gotta pay that buddy it's gonna double <sighs> I don't think it's past the date yet. We'll see. But um, yeah, they have the red light cameras here that uh, if you like turn left when it's turning yellow or if you run like when it's yellow and you go straight past the light, they'll take a, a picture of your license plate. Um, I'm going to look for the picture of Linda don't. and I'm going to put it up here when it's she and they got it. Yeah, but I could screenshot it. I'm going to screenshot it. <laughs> All right. Um, a year and a half ago, I got a red light ticket. And you and can was, see her like. No. Four hundred and eighty dollars because yeah. I went a second past the red light. Yeah, it's stupid. And you know what's? I feel like I'm usually like, "Fuck!" I think I just ran a red. That time I fully was confident that I was fine. Yeah, that's anyway. so funny. Let's yeah. do that to you. I want to save your yes. life. Make sure you see the speed limit. And if yeah. you don't know the speed limit and you're feeling like you want to break the law a little bit, if you are going faster than the people that live in the country you are in then you deserve a speeding ticket if you get right. Do not be deceived. Germany has these things called autobahns, no speed limits. But when you get near a city, blitzers everywhere. Right. <laughs> and it drops pretty fast. You're like done. you're going from Dude. unlimited speed to like 30 I'm not even kidding. Hour. They try to get you. They try to get you. Like there'll be a speed limit, no speed limit. Then it'll go from 120 to like 30 within 10 seconds. It's like, and then the blitzer's right there at the, at the edge. That's it's annoying. Like, bro, three. Interesting, I had no idea. You have to pay for bathrooms here. Is that weird to you? That is weird. And I honestly, I'm going to be completely honest. 
Honestly, Bruh. I will pee on the side of the road before I pee in the bathroom. Yeah. Now, if I have to go to Deuce, that's a different story, and it I'll, might be worth it. I'll have to pay, but it's still hard for me to cop up change yeah. when I have to go to the bathroom because I've never done that before in my life. It's usually like 50 cents or one euro, but keep in mind, for those people who are used to paying for bathrooms, we grew up in a country where you do not pay for bathrooms ever. Right. Not one time in our life have we said, we need to go to the bathroom, here's money for it. Right. So that's- Yeah, I understand that, but sometimes out here they'll say like, it's for customers only, so like you need to buy something off the menu and then you can go use the restroom. Right. Which but, is kind of the same thing. Yeah, but I think like, I don't know. I remember in Italy, some places you had to, but it was like if it was like a smaller place. It wasn't like I, like I can go into the McDonald's there. Yeah, I don't think they care the there. It's more of like a local business. Yeah, I I I mean they live there, so maybe they probably know yeah. More. But yeah, it is stupid to have to pay. But like if you know you have to, just keep change on you. Yeah, if it's only one euro or fifty cents, I was not that big of a deal. I mean, yeah, you are using somebody's you know facilities. facilities so. Yeah, that's not a big deal. Reason why it's weird, if you are from a country like ours, it'll be different. Right. Carry change around, pay for the bathroom. Yes. Number four, air conditioning. 99% of people in Germany do not have air conditioning have no idea in their why. house. And I do know why. Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. <laughs> why? Because only like two months of the year do Germans actually kind of need air conditioning because only two months of the year it's hot enough to where they would need it. Mm. And so they have all these little special techniques of keeping it cool <clears throat> without having to have an air conditioning. But they do have air conditioning in hotels, I've heard. I think they do. But in normal family houses, no AC, they do have like the heating wood stoves that heat their house up in the winter. Right. No AC, they do have heaters. Make sure you check with the hotel to see if they have it. All right, we made it to the part that will save your life. I'm not hard. It's very important actually because it has to do with you and the traffic laws. Holy shit. Um, so much energy. Like, yeah. Um, I don't. <laughs> sorry. There are places here that don't have AC, and it's it's always weather determined. Yeah, if you live in Vegas, you have to have AC. Yeah. Legally, you have to have but AC. All, obviously, America is fucking huge, so like, yeah. it's not consistent. Well, it's like here in LA, like our so place doesn't they, have AC. Yeah. What do they do in those two months? They probably just, the like, same fans? thing we do. Yeah. They probably hook up something they to pray, the window. They sit in their car. They sit in their car and just like wait it out. With the no, AC in the until car. it's not. No, I think they probably do what we do and have like the window units where it cools off but and stuff like that. When it's hot here, it is. It is Very a hot. Dutch oven in this apartment. It's hotter in here than outside sometimes if hey, the weather is really bad. If you guys from Europe know where that phrase came from, Dutch oven, let us know. <laughs> I hope it's not something that has to do with like killing people. But yeah, we'll oh, see. Oh, okay. Didn't think that. <laughs> the first one, this is going to be a few part point. The very first one, if you're on the Autobahn and you're not going over 200 miles per hour, get out of the left lane. The left lane is only for people who are exceptionally fast. Yes. And if you are in the way of those people, they could run into you, you could cause an accident. I learned this the hard way because I'm just driving along, oh, I want to go fast. And these people with better cars than yeah. me, Wait. I have to let go of my ego. Schnell. I was in a little teeny car like, Ugh. screw these guys, I want to go fast. They have Audi freaking right. 300 horsepower cars, right. they are going Right. Yeah. It's honestly terrifying because the first yeah. time I was driving on the left hand lane, I looked in the rearview mirror, no one was behind me, and then I saw a little car that was like really far away and I like looked back for like four seconds. I it looked back in the rearview there. mirror, it was like four feet from me, like yeah. like, <laughs> people will race on the freeway. And the rule that you should adhere to if you can is if there's nobody in front of you that you have to pass. You should always be to the very far right. That's what Germans do. They're the very far right lane. If somebody's going slower than you, then you can move to the left and you have only to. pass on the left. This is the second part. Only pass on the left. If you pass on the right, you could also cause an accident because yes. Germans are used to being able to pull over and having nobody on their right hand uh, side. It's actually very smart and it makes traffic go a little bit smoother. Yes. I think Americans should implement this too. It could save your life. Just get over to This is something that I, I think agree with that. we need to implement here a lot. Um, it just makes Passing. sense. Yeah, the whole like in certain places they do enforce that like in certain like in Texas It's way more common that people know the rules of the road of like only if you're passing get to the left and move over to the right It doesn't really happen here so much. They pretty much from my understanding Say the far left is like carpool on the highway Yeah, two yeah. or more people and then from there the furthest 
it's just like fat from fast to slow yeah it's yeah. pretty much yep what they yeah but chose. i'm saying a lot of people don't really follow that here that much oh no they'll be in the fast lane going like 50 miles an hour people are very 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 impatient here you no matter what lane you're in if you're driving like if you're yeah. driving the speed limit even a little bit over if they want to haul ass they'll just pull as close as they can to you and then start like making them yeah. fucking. Th- and i was like just chill out yeah, go yeah, around me there is a lot of that in yeah here. but but again where we live you know i don't think it's like this in like everywhere yeah. montana or something yeah, exactly probably, yeah, yeah i don't know there's probably only like one road and then a farmhouse and that's it no i'm just kidding <laughs> the right hand side make sure you're paying attention um watch out for blitzers and that's all those are five things okay um, that was interesting. interesting yeah good to know good to know you herman let us know what i called them germans herman oh um, i like <laughs> zoned out for a second then i was like is he speaking out of language? um if you guys confirm about these things and everything like that let us know uh if there's anything we should know about germany i definitely do we want to go to germany at some point we'll make our way over there to you guys it's not going to be anytime soon, but eventually, maybe, maybe. eventually, I but mean, I don't, I don't see us moving there. And if, no, if we no, go visit, no. I doubt we're going to be on the roads much anyway. Yeah. If we visit, I don't think like you were saying, I don't think we're going to rent a car or anything, but you never know. Cause I'm sure there's, I think, I feel like everywhere in Europe just has good, uh, trans- transportation. public transportation. Yeah. I would assume so. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did like subscribe, Put the notification on. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. Keep going. No, I'm okay. Um, jump over to the vlog channel <laughs> too. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank all you guys. We appreciate it. Thanks for watching, everybody. Peace. Oh, were you trying to hit me? In the, or high five me? For a second, I thought you were trying to go. No, no, of course. I was trying to high five you. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Bye, guys.